Hey everyone, what's going on? Phoenix here, bringing you another Asheron's Call gameplay video. Today I am walking you through the Society Infiltrations quest. Uh, this is a quest where you need to be a master of your society, so that's Celestial Hand, Radiant Blood, or Eldridge Web. Once you're a master of the society, you're going to want to go talk to the operations aide, which is in the same large room where all of the um, different armor chests are located in your society. He's going to portal you into this room where you can speak with the operations specialist once you're all set. He's going to tell you you have 40 minutes to complete the quest, and then he's going to portal you in. So this quest is basically you are attacking another society, trying to deal as much damage as you can to them uh, before the 40 minutes is up. Um... Well, there's like certain things that you have to do before the 40 minutes is up in order to complete it, but that's kind of the lore behind the quest. Um, so in this video, I am attacking the Radiant Blood, and I love that I'm wearing my Celestial Hand armor because then it kind of fits like, hey, yeah, the Celestial Hand is raiding the Radiant Blood here. Um, the first step is you're going to, as you saw me do, run into the main room. You don't have to kill any of the enemies in that main room, and then you're going to run to the west. There are two rooms here to the south and to the north, each with six Radiant Blood members in them. And you actually, you have to make sure you cross the threshold into the room and then kill all six enemies in each room. This is probably the hardest part um, of the whole quest. And that's because you actually have to kill all of the, the enemies here. There's no running through this part or killing one specific guy. Um, I'm going to show you how deadly it can be. These uh, The mages cast level 8 uh, war spells. They debuff you. They vuln you. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, and then you've got two melees and two archers. So um, I recommend kind of pulling the melees out of the room, clearing them, and then starting to go after, you know, either the mages or the archers, whichever you can see from the doorway, and not trying to fight them all at once. I'll show you exactly what can happen uh, if you do try to fight them all at once. Um, it, it doesn't go well. <laughs> so these guys do drop pretty good loot. You know, it's I believe it's tier 8, at least tier 7 loot, um, you know, because they drop level 8 spell components. Um, but again, you only have 40 minutes to complete the quest, and if you don't complete the quest in 40 minutes, you, you basically get no rewards. So this is kind of what I'm talking about. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to run into this room. Um, by the way, I pre-recorded the gameplay, and so I'm just kind of talking over the recording. Um, yeah, I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. Maybe I thought my summon was going to tank this for me. So I do kill one, at least, uh, melee, and then, you know, I get a rush recovery off. That's the level 7 stamina to man, uh, stamina to health, probably one of the best spells in the game. I think sometimes when I'm playing Void, I get caught up uh, trying to apply DOTs to everybody instead of focusing and healing, or killing guys one at a time. So I get caught up casting a spell, can't get the heal off, and we're dead. Okay, so we're picking up where we left off. Unfortunately, if you do die on this quest, you have to wait for the full 40 minute timer to expire before you can go back in. There's... There's no coming back to this, um, you know, you can't like get halfway, die, and recall, or anything like that. It's it's a 140 minute quest. Thankfully, I was able to recover my corpse I because I got Radiant Blood again. I'm not sure if you always get the same one, um, you know, because you could either fight the Radiant Blood or the Eldritch Web. I know the first time I ran this, I got the Eldritch Web. Um, so I could see an instance where you could potentially not find your corpse, but maybe someone can, in the comments, let me know if that's not the way it works. So this time, I'm a little bit smarter. I'm fighting the guys that I can see from the doorway. Uh, I'm not just charging in there and fighting all six at once, because that would be, I don't know, a mistake. <laughs> Yeah, so I fizzled twice in a row here because the mages are casting, like, see, I have Incantation of Creature Ineptitude, Incantation of War Ineptitude, so they really debuff you. Um, they're, like, they're debuffing my weapon. See, they just debuff my life magic again. Um, they The mages just go all out trying to make you worthless. So thankfully, I have 
um, from the society, there are society dispel gems that, that dispel level eight spells. So if you don't have those and you just are using like gems of stillness, gems of stillness only dispel level seven spells. So you have to be really careful. Um, it's probably at this point, you would have to be a master of the society anyway. So you have access to those society dispel gems, but I definitely recommend bringing a big stack of them. All right, so there's just these two more soldiers and then we're gonna move on to the next part of this quest. Um, this quest is very intricate. There's a whole bunch you have to complete. For instance, like this, I would say is like step A, clear these two rooms. And then once you complete step A, you can go on to B, C, D, E, etc. And it needs to be completed in a pretty specific order. I'm going to link the walkthrough on the wiki in the description so you can um, follow along. So you see that door was open. That's because I cleared those two rooms. If you don't clear those two rooms, that door is going to remain closed and you're not going to be able to progress to this point. So from here, you have to kill this master soldier. He's going to drop a key, I believe. A little lag. Yeah, so he's going to drop the supply room key, which I believe I'm just checking, but there's nothing in here you need to do. So the supply room key goes to this door, this reinforced door. It's a one use key. And you're actually you're going to tip over this lantern and it's going to light the crates on fire, which I think is really cool. Like there's so few things in Ashron's call. I think that's because this is a later quest, like in terms of the life of the game. Um, but yeah, so few quests where like you interact. OK, so you saw that door again was open. That door was only open because I tipped over the lantern. The main room guys seem to kind of stay static. They don't really follow you. So you can very easily run past them to the different um areas you need to go they shouldn't follow you now we're in the east wing of the the main uh room and in this spot we need to kill the master soldiers until they drop i believe i'm looking for a prison key at this point so we're gonna loot it yeah so oh main key excuse me and there are two main keys one on each side so south and north side of the east wing you don't need to kill like we did on the west side. We killed all six of the enemies in each room. You only need to kill the soldiers. Those are the only ones that drop the main keys. So I'm going to quickly kill this guy so that I'm kind of clean going up to the north end. Just checking to see if he drops a key, which he does not. And I'm trying to just pull the soldiers out. There's no reason to fight the archers or to fight the mages. Uh, once again, this is on a 40 minute timer. If you're playing as a melee, I think this is going to be a lot harder for you as a mage. Um, the timer is no problem for me. Um, you know, maybe somebody who's played this as a melee can put some tips in the comments or let me know like what you've done to to get through this quest because I could see that being a real real trouble especially you know you'd have to kind of switch to like your lens to pull guys um okay so i got my second main key now we're going to run all the way to the east we're going to use our main first main key on this door in this room there's going to be three weapons so there's a well-crafted wand a well-crafted bow and there's a well-crafted sword which I can't find for a second. It's on the other side of the room, actually. On the, All the weapons are on the floor. None of them are on the table. Once we have that, we're gonna head back to the main room. We're gonna run through the main room, and now we're gonna go into the north wing. So we have to kind of survive these guys for a second while we unlock the door and then run through. And they should, again, they should stop following you. One of them comes after me of all the uh, enemies in that main room. I'm going to quickly clear him, and then we're going to deal with the next section. Of course, now I have three guys on me, but that's actually okay because I want to fight the soldiers first. So on this section, this is the north section now, we're trying to loot a uh, prison key from... Oh, I almost die again, but I do get the rush recovery off, I think. Quite a bit of lag there, which is not good. I dispel all the debuffs. Did you see that huge list of debuffs that came off of me? I mean, crazy. Yeah, so I'm looking for a prison key here. 
first soldier goes down, we're still alive. I should have probably been more proactive with the debuffs and just constantly be removing them with the Gems of Dispelling. The Gems of Dispelling cost one of your society trade tokens. So like for me, it's one Celestial Hand trade token. There's my prison key. I think there's only one, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Now we can run past this whole section. We don't have to fight any of these guys. That door is going to open for us automatically once we finish this next part. All right, so we're going to use our prison key. It's got two uses. We're going to open the door for the prisoner or the captive, and we're going to talk to him. He's going to run out, and actually pretty cool. They actually like portal recall, or I think they like log out. Um, but I just love that when there's NPCs in AC that actually kind of interact with you a little bit more. So both of those guys are going to do that. Now we can run straight across to the west. And there's going to be a vat, smelting vat. We're going to put one of the well-crafted weapons. It doesn't matter which one you put in. And then the vat's going to take all of them. And it's basically like you destroy, you know, you destroy those weapons. You melt them down so they're useless. Now we're going to run all the way to the top and we're going to fight the commander. This is the last of the guys that we have to fight, actually. So once you kill him, you're basically done. Um, I did this in pretty good time. So I think it only took me, even with dying, I mean, dying was pretty bad. <laughs> it took me, say, 15 minutes total to finish this. If I hadn't died, it probably would have been like 12. Um, so pretty good when it's, a, you know, you have 40 minutes to do it. Like I said, I think for like a melee, it's going to take you, it's going to take you a little bit longer. So the commander, once the commander goes down, there's a stack of documents at the far end. You can actually kind of see it in this uh, portion of the video. And we're just going to use that. I check him for loot. It's got nothing. Yeah, so run all the way through documents. You just uh, use it and then it portals you out. Um, teleports you with Celestial Hand Basement. Puts you back in this small room with the operation Specialist. Once you talk to him, he hands you a reward, which is an augmentation gem. And that's it. Um, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching. Bye.